Hi there, it's uh, Steve again. Um, sorry about the weird angle of this, but I really want you to see bits of the screen here, um, and really you don't want to see my ugly mug. All I'm going to be doing is wearing a headset. So I want to show you some new software that I've come across. I've uh, heard about it quite a few times. It's called uh, Voice Attack, and I'm looking at getting Oculus Rift in the next couple of months, and it starts wondering to me, and how am I going to see all these external displays? How am I going to touch button boxes, keyboards, when I can't see anything because I'm fully immersed? in the software. So, voice attack. Hmm, let's give that a go. So, the um, easiest way to do this is show you how it works. Watch this. Headset. Unfortunately, you do need to use a headset uh, because the background noise of your engine and your 5.1 surround will cause it a few problems. Now, I do have a little bit of a problem here trying to do this to camera loud enough that the camera can pick up what I'm saying, but not too loud that the software has problems, so I may struggle a little bit, but we'll see how we go with it. Um, trust me, it does work very well in game, and I've been using it for about an hour, and it's very good. Now, it's a very simple, quick download. Um, let's show you. Um, easy enough. Start Google. There we go. We have uh, Google up and running. So let's uh, quickly go onto the website. So here's the voice attack software. Uh, simple download, it's uh, eight bucks to buy it. You get a license and you get all software upgrades, everything you need on that. So uh, very, very nice. Uh, the way it works is it goes through uh, control panel and it uses speech recognition from Windows. And basically it's a program that wraps around that, gives you profiles and commands you can add. So uh, well, let's just show you how it works. So um, Start iRacing Forum. There we go, straight up into iRacing Forum. There I am. Start Google. Start Google. Start Outlook. Start Gmail. So you can use it to do anything inside Windows. And the way that you do it, let's just uh, close these down, is that you edit your profile and you pick something. So for example, uh, let's say I want to run Internet Explorer. Here's my command. And I know you can't see this on the screen, but basically it says, I run this application. And at the top it says, when I say, and all I've done is type start Explorer, voice recognition. Type it out exactly as you type it. So let's try that. Um, done that. Start Explorer. <laughs> Start NAS. Start NAS. That's my NAS drive with all my movies and everything stored on it. I use a piece of software called TeamViewer. I use it a lot. Start TeamViewer. Start TeamViewer. There it is. Start VM. Start VMware. I'm forgetting the commands I put into it all, but you can see how it all just pops up nice and simple. So, how do we do this in iRacing then? So when I run iRacing, I run sim command and I run about three other programs at the same time. So, here we go. Start sim vibe. Start sim vibe. So, here's my iRacing dash, here's my sound shift that's running, and there's sim vibe that's running. So, uh, let's go into iRacing and show you some of the cool stuff you can do with this now. Wait for this to boot up. We're getting that. Quick swirl of the old vocal cords. Oh, let's just dive into here. So, pretty much anything that you can map inside iRacing or any game that you can map through the keyboard or through buttons, you can do it inside the game. So, nice and simple. Let's show you. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move, I think it's Alt-K, okay, isn't it? Yep. We'll just move the tire. Right, so here's our black box. There we go. And uh, so you can see that I've got tires shown here. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move out the pits a little bit.
Okay. So we just pulled outside the pits here at the moment. So I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I've got tyres on screen. So show relative. My relative screen's now come up. I want to get rid of it. Show relative. Show relative. Gone. Show relative. Appears. Show standings. Show tyres. Show fuel. What about if I want to clear my car for the beginning of a race? I get one free pit stop. First thing you do is sit on the pit grid, F4, blah 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 blah, F5, switch everything off. So my fuel is set to tick and to refuel. Show tyres. My tyres are all ticked. Watch this. Clear car. Don't know if you just see that, but at the top there it actually issued the macro command to clear all of the tyres. Show fuel. My fuel has been cleared as well. I'm ready to race. No more messing around with buttons. What if I want to add some tyres? Show tyres. Add tyres. All my tyres are now being added. Anything that I want to do in iRacing, I can do through this. Show tyre info. Show tyre info. Show frames. Here's my frame rate. Show controls. Here's my controls. Show frames. Show controls. Show relative. Show timing. Timing's up in this top corner. I don't know if you can see that on the video. And I can cycle through it. Exit car. You can even start putting voice commands in and chat messages. So, pass left. Pass right. Thank you. Say thank you. Say welcome. Say sorry. Exit pit. Enter pit. Pretty much anything you want to do, you can bang in this. Let's just show you how it works as we're we'll driving along. So obviously you've got my headphones on. Let's uh, pull the seat in a little bit. Let's uh, move this relative position back out of the way. So we'll put it back down in that corner. Right, here we go. Right, so I'm about to start a race. Um, show fuel. Show fuel. Show tyres. Clear car. Exit pit. So, driving along here. I'm sat on tyres at the moment. Show relative. There's my relative there now. Pass left. Show fuel. My fuel's now popped up there. Right, I'm set to begin refueling. So, clear car. It's now switched off. So I'm no longer looking fuel when I put go into the pit stops. Show tyres. Show tyres. And we can see we're all set there. Pass left. Pass right. Thank you. You could even, if you really, really want to with this, you could set it up to actually change gears if you really, really wanted to. I don't recommend it at all. But this is just ultimate. I don't even need to touch the steering wheel now, really, other than to drive. Um, I still use my left and my right look because of that's just quick and instantaneous. I still have pass left and pass right on my uh, on there, and I still have certain things set up on here. So, but I can pretty much change anything I want now on the fly. So, let's pull the car. Exit car. So, hopefully that's giving you a quick little demo. Like I said, it's called Voice Attack. It's eight dollars. Can't go wrong. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, if you like my channel, just uh, post like, subscribe, the usual stuff. I just do it for the fun of it.
See you later.